Hi, welcome to the small shed. This week in order to try and keep the dust down a bit I'm going to be making a downdraft table and that's coming up next. Now I'm not sure if this is going to work or not, it's all a matter of trial and error. The principle is fairly straightforward. You take a flat work surface, you drill a series of holes in it, make a chamber underneath those holes that's airtight, connect some sort of extract vacuum or dust extractor to it, and when you turn it on the theory is that it will draw down air through those holes. So if you're sanding on the bench, it'll pull the air, including the, the sawdust, down into the vacuum system and that way it keeps it out of the air. Uh, that's the principle. Whether it'll work or not, I don't know. We'll find out. So in this first video of two, I'm going to be dealing with drilling the holes in the worktop and for that I shall be using this path guide system that I got from Axminster. It's quite an involved process, but it does produce precisely located holes. So it's worth just having a look at that just for the system itself. And then next week we'll get on to actually constructing the box and outlet to make the whole thing work. So we'll start in the corner that I want to start to set up lines from. And basically what you're doing is putting a marker there that drills you a perfectly upright hole as a starting point and we put one of the rulers in the path sticks put the pin through the hole there and they are quite a tight fit so there's not a lot of room for error in the system it's quite <coughs> firm so that gives you the first point we go along four one two three sorry one two three four along and we intersect with the line that we've drawn there drill, drill the second hole So that's established a baseline that's equidistant from the bottom. And then, as I said, we put that stick in there, like that. And now the other stick, through a convenient hole, back in that one. And where you're, you've got four across there, one, two, three up. And when those two holes coincide, which they do at that point, there. That enables us to drill a hole. So that's giving us a right angle. We can drill the intermediates here now. Should be using that really to make sure they're upright. It's more important with 18mm ply, this is only quite thin. But to get them vertical. Because the, the hole that you drill out for the dogs, the actual drill itself is a special one they've developed that's got a lead on it which actually takes it down through the hole that you've drilled so it's important on an 18mm that you get that dead vertical so that, that will also follow down and that's that so that's given us a right angle line of holes 
the right spacings and from then on you can just go anywhere you like and put a hole with a pin through it and another one over there some of these are still very tight because it's been used so little pin through there The intersection of those and give you an exact position for that drill hole and again same principle you can just drill your holes across then saving the knowledge that it's all exactly at right angles. And that's done the grid. Those are just pilot holes now for the main force and a bit. And uh, these bits out. What happens then is that you use the force and a bit in the special jig that they provide and that sits on the bench and again you can use the pins to locate it exactly in the right place like that and that will drill exactly in the right place exactly vertically exactly the right size hole. So it's a 20mm hole at 96mm centres. And as I say there is an alternative that they have for working when you're doing one beyond the edge of a row of holes which is effectively half the distance between the two places that you've got your holes drilled. So I might use those with a smaller force than a bit. So there we go, that's the um, the piece of wood is now just on top of the existing MFT table with a couple of dogs locating it. And you can see that you can just put these in anywhere and they coincide and give you similar spacings. The accuracy is very good. That's the little UKJ path guide all the bits and pieces with it. As I said earlier it's overkill, I didn't really need anything quite as accurate as that for this job because as a downdraft table it just needs holes. Um, but I just thought it was worth using a piece of kit I'd already got and it'll be making its appearances more on some of the other carts that I'm building that uh, it's useful just to have this dog hole system just to clamp things down to so um, yeah very nice bit of kit. Now in the end I went for um, a 15 mil hole at the intermediate positions and I did that manually just to see how accurate that was and it's it's almost as easy as using the uh, the proper jig. Uh, I, 
just mark the intersections between the uh, the existing holes that I'd got and drill them out with a, a small uh, forstner bit. The only real difference is that it didn't leave quite such a good finish on the underside uh, and that may have been because the bit wasn't as new as the uh, the one in the path guide but for this sort of job where accuracy isn't necessarily uh, as important as it is in a work table it, this is a perfectly good way of doing it for to achieve the re desired result then just sanded the top down uh, and took the opportunity to actually plug it into the vacuum to make sure it worked and it seems to be doing the job okay it pulled all of the dust down into the table while I was working on it it remains to be seen how that works in the long term but we're right next to the dust monitor so we can check that out over time and I'll let you know at some time in the future well I hope the insight into the path guide system was um, worth a look next week as I say we'll be dealing with the construction of the box itself and the extract to see if the whole thing goes together as a unit see you then take care bye mm -hmm.